The bombardment continued to pound Fort Fisher throughout Saturday, July, uh, January 14th. And then on Sunday, January 15th, 1865, the Northern Army made its move. The sun rose over the Atlantic horizon in a cloudless blue sky that morning. In the woods north of Fort Fisher, the Federal frontline troops were in position waiting for orders to assault the great fort. According to General Terry's attack plan, the naval bombardment would cease at a prearranged time, and then the soldiers from the Army of the James would rush the fort. The troops would make the assault in three brigades, one after another, aiming for the extreme western flank of the fort's land face overlooking the Cape Fear River. At the same time, 2,000 men in a naval brigade composed of sailors and marines drawn from the naval fleet would assault Fort Fisher's northeast bastion, the angle of the fort where the land face met the sea face at water's edge. The naval brigade force, which was Admiral Porter's idea, was composed entirely of volunteers and they faced a deadly challenge. They would charge the fort over approximately one mile of open beach, largely armed with nothing more than handguns and cutlasses. At 3.35 that afternoon, the fleet ceased fire, and the warships blew their steam whistles, which was the call for the assault to begin. 